All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today, I'm sure you could probably guess, we're trialing out some software or trialing it again for the first time in a while, because it showed up in my email again after a while. Um, we're taking a look at ChromaCam. Now, if you're not familiar with what ChromaCam is, here's the logo in the upper corner of my webcam. Uh, ChromaCam offers you the ability to remove the background from your video without having to have a green screen. It's basically like what Zoom does. Like, from what I've seen, Zoom also has this feature where it kind of removes everything behind you if you have a good enough webcam. Uh, but this one has a little bit more features where you can do like business presentations kind of built in to the software. You can upload your own background images and you can play with some different filters if you'd like. So if you want to poke around here, we got a few different options. We can just completely make ourselves invisible, like everything but us. And if I move my mic, it's not the worst I've seen, actually. It works pretty well once I get my microphone out of the way and I try not to move my head too much. If I'm really animated, there's no program that I've got that doesn't require a very specific, like, first-party webcam that does better than that. So this is actually decent. If you kind of play with your lighting a little bit, it can get rid of some more of my chair here. But so far, I mean, it's not bad. Not bad at all. So if I click around, you got some other options, like you can green screen. You can pretend like you're at the office when you're really at Dave's house. Who doesn't love pretending you're at the office? You can be the star and be the center of attention. You know, you can upload via this little button here that I can't activate because I'm just trialing the software. You can upload whatever you want to the software and use it. It can even be, it's comedy night. I mean, what's not to love about comedy night? So this is really useful because this has got a couple different modes. Like I can be in streamer mode and streamer mode's got like some, oh, I can be the Binding of Isaac. Oh, would you look at that? They, okay, that's a, that's a little, it's a little cheesy. I'm not gonna lie. And there's also some functions for Twitch bot integration where people can control some of what's going on. So I do like that. That's a that's a big upgrade from what they had before. And like these effects. Oh my gosh, you can have total biscuit. He's he's dead. Uh, but I'm really surprised to see like such a throwback meme in here. You got poggers, you got to the moon, to the moon with those stonks. You got lots of options here. So there's like two modes. There's classic mode and classic mode. So there's two modes. You've got two modes up here. You've got classic mode, which is meant for more of like a business setting where you'd be like talking to people or giving a presentation. I mean, there's, there's literally an option here to full on give a slideshow presentation, right? All right, this quarter, as you can see here in the orange, we need way more cat food than we did before. Uh, Frank, the library cat, uh, is getting on in years. And then over here in the blue portion, um, I really like blueberries. And you can, you can import your own slides here so that you can give your own presentation and then you can change where your body physically is on the screen. Kind of useful. You can play with where the logo appears, or if you pay for this, you can just turn it off. Obviously, you don't want to have chroma cam stuff in the corner of your video all the time. But it's it's decent. And there's a lot of programs that I've played with that offer to remove your background automatically. And again, unless you have like a $500 like webcam, most of them look like this. They're They're kind of okay. With some tweaking and some playing with your lighting, just like a green screen, you can mostly get rid of these problems. Um, so then the other side of it is obviously you can be very meme centric with Twitch. You can put together your own animated backgrounds of icons and stuff. You can add them, edit them, whatever. And then normally if I wasn't playing with it in OBS right now, you could see them on that little blue screen here where you could actually preview in the program what it looks like. In fact, I can turn the preview on right now. And there you can see, like that's the same webcam. 
So is it foolproof? Is this like a one and done? Not, not really. You're going to have to play with any solution that you buy, but this is a cheap, not terrible um, way to go. How much is this? Let's find out. Throw my cam. How much is it? Pricing. Per month? Oh, I ain't paying for promo per month. Okay. So, so let's take a peek over here with my my weird space centric uh, rocket ship background. Let's just zoom out here. So, what does our pricing look like for this particular product? So, you can try it for free. Oh. Okay, so they've changed this. It used to be you could like pay 20 bucks and then you could have this forever. But now it looks like they're offering you a, a, a subscription based service where they give you full background blur, no chroma cam watermarks, custom background and logo, support for PowerPoint slides, use of any video conferencing service, Twitch bot, streaming effects, compatible with Mac and Windows and Apple One chips are not supported yet. They, I mean, they just came out a few months ago and they've broken a lot of software for Mac users, but standard Mac works fine. Uh, does not include filters and streaming mode at this time for Mac. I mean, Mac is not the most preferential streaming platform, so if it's missing some features, I don't think anyone will be overly sad. But, uh, yeah, so... I don't know... Okay, so I was gonna say, this program has definitely improved since I last played with it. It's doing a lot better, and I'm not even using a different webcam than I was before. I've just got the Logitech C922. But at the same time, um, I don't know if I could swing yet another subscription service. I mean, it's like a couple bucks a month, 24 bucks a year. But for something as simplistic as Chroma Cam, I feel like it's a one and done situation. Like every version, pay 20 bucks and then use it for however much you want to use. It's not like these services are, you know, unique. You can find like five to six different background removal tools. They're all relatively inexpensive pretty quickly. So maybe not for the ability to, uh, to do this for, you know, another subscription, but two bucks a month isn't a lot. It's really not. And if you find this works really well for you and it, it's the perfect tool to fix things for you and the Twitch bot integrated support is just magnifique, you know, je ne sais quoi, mwah, uh, then, you know, grab it. It's perfect for you. Otherwise, I think for the performance, I'd prefer like pay 15 bucks and be done with it. Personally, I'm just like a one and done. I got enough subscriptions. I'm not as big on that, uh, that way of doing things. So check it out, I'll put the video, or the link for this program in the video description below. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little look at what ChromaCam offers you in 2021. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys and gals next time. Bye!